Okay, let me sh explain to you why I said uh, to let go of the verbal interpretation of the Likert scale. By the way, it's pronounced as Likert because the name, the author of the scale is Rensis Likert. He himself called the scale Likert because his surname is Likert. So anyway, this is an example of a Likert scale. Strongly disagree to strongly agree, one to six. As you can see, the definition and example now is that the tendency of papers now is to just divide it um, among the negative scores or negative items and uh, the positive scoring, right? Now, as I go through modern research now, I can see that very few, if at all, use the interpretation that we are doing like this one so i saw this just a while ago and said oh there are still some people using the scale that we are using but when i investigated further it turns out that this paper comes from the philippines so i noticed that most of the people are using the scale that we have like like this are filipinos and let me show you why I don't believe that using this scale is, you know, correct. So this is my <coughs> analysis of sorts. Okay, so the first idea is to do a um, very uh, straightforward. If you get one, that strongly agree. If you get two, let's disagree. If you get three, slightly disagree, and all that. <clears throat> okay. I have a let. So, okay, I'm sorry about that. So, this should be slightly disagree, and this is disagree. Alright. Now, if this will be used, as I said here, if this will be used, very few will, strong, will be strongly agree and very few will be strongly disagree okay and the reason is if you notice um you you have to only have one in order to be strongly agree and you only get strongly uh, you only get if you only get if you get one then that's strongly disagree if you get six then you get strongly agree the only way that you can get six perfectly is that everybody scored six if everybody scored one then that strongly disagree then most of the scores will just vary between slightly disagree disagree slightly agree and agree so that's not you know it in the terms of mathematics that's not fair again if you go to this one this is uh, what what we've been using uh, if 1 to 1.49 strongly disagree because if you, if you get to 1.5 then by rounding off you get to disagree and then if it goes to 2.49 you go to slightly uh, again this is this is a mistake so sorry about that so if you go to 2.5 that's disagree if you go to uh, 3.5 that's slightly agree and so on and though the only way that you get to the next scale is because of rounding up again if if this would be used not only would it be unfair because of the because of the uh, rounding up remember that the people who scored uh, slightly uh, slightly agree meant that they slightly agree all right those who scored disagree does not you know does not intend their item their scores to be slightly agreed but if you use this then it, if it goes to a certain point then you are interpreting it in a higher scale which is unfair again further the distances are not the same the strongly disagree has just 1.5 this the area of this is only 0.5 the area of this is only 0.5 and everything is one so again this will be unfair to both poles now if you use the equality the equidistant scale which is i, I saw this in the in the paper of uh, of the marketing people you 
know <coughs> what they do is the distances are made equidistant so the highest possible score minus minus the lowest possible score so 6 minus 1 is 5 and then 5 divided by 6 because there are 5 this 6 there are 6 in proper interpretation then that will equate to 1 to 0.833 so um, the, what, what they do is just to add 0.83 to the previous scale so uh, 1 plus 0.8.83 is 1.83 if you add 0.83 again then that's you know 2.67 and so on and so on and so on until you get to 6 so equal all right, you solve the equality issue, the, the equidistant issue, but this is absurd because look at this example of mine. If there are 100 respondents and 80 scored 5 and only 20 scored 6, then 5 times 80 is 400, 6 times 20 is 120. If you add them, that's 5.2. 5.2 divided by 100 is 520 divided by 100 is 5.2. And they become strongly agree. But remember, only 80% or 8% scored agree. Only 20% scored strongly agree. But then if you use this scale, they become strongly agree. So what is my proposition? My proposition is not to use verbal interpretation anymore. What is best? No verbal interpretation. No one is doing that anymore in the international scene. The scale is ordinal. And non-continuous, they are discrete, and we are attempting to convert it to a continuous data. If it's non-continuous, why would you convert it to a continuous data? Most papers now in the international scene are reported this way. So let me show you uh, one last paper, which I saw in Google Scholar. And this is um, a point being raised by no less than... Um, uh, Journal of Graduate of Medical Education because they said that Likert scale, Rensis Likert, developed in 1932 to measure to measure the scales in a five point or seven point ordinal scale, wherein they rate the dis to agree or disagree with the statement. For example, no, in an ordinal scale, responses can be rated or ranked, but the distance between responses is not measurable. The differences between always, often, sometimes, or frequency scale are not necessarily equal. So what he says here, one cannot assume that the difference between responses is equidistant, even though the numbers assigned to those responses are. This is in contrast to interval data in which the difference between responses can be calculated, like for example, if it is something. So in, in medical science, they don't like this. So that's why they did this kind of a scale. How severe is your pain? There are only two poles. No pain, worst pain imaginable. Then the pain, the patient will just score you know, somewhere in the middle, whatever. So you don't attempt to to convert it into a verbal interpretation scale because it's not verbal, it's numerical. So you have to just stay with the numerical interpretation. If it's 3.5 out of 6, then just report 3.5 out of 6. You don't have to convert it to an ordinal scale because it is continuous i mean in 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 the in the, the scale given here so you know this is my proposal don't convert it to the verbal interpretation i learned about this when i was still in you know in student services i somebody from my 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 students you know they, they were in the library uh, and someone they said someone from up came in saw one paper and they laughed at one of our papers because of this, because of the scale. And this is, you know, sometime in 2008, 10 years ago already. So I've been, I've been telling this over and over and over again. Still, I can see a lot of papers uh, using this kind of scale. Let's lose that kind of scale. The verbal interpretation is not being used anymore in most international conferences. So let's lose that verbal interpretation, at least in CBA. So that's it. Thank you.